Hi there, and welcome to another demonstration of the Clickbots remote control system for Next Robots. Uh, I've set up here a colour sorting robot, which consists of a tracked vehicle with a runway in which are some colour balls waiting to be sorted. Uh, a gate uh, of consisting of two rods here that controls the release of the balls, and the tracked vehicle moves along and should hopefully, with the aid of the software, deposit the balls into the correct receptacle down here. Um, the initial design of this used uh, the LEGO Color Center sensor, and the whole thing was automatic and would sort the uh, colored balls without human intervention. Here we're dealing with remote control and so the colour sensor has been removed and it's been replaced with an iPhone um, uh, camera which is sitting in a cradle here and you can see that on the, uh, if we look at the reverse side of the screen uh, we can see that it's looking down the chute through which the balls are delivered um, down uh, the runway there. Um, the Clickbox uh, software um, is a system which lets you remotely control the robot using the internet and um, it comes with several robot designs that you can build, um, but you can also build your own one, and that's what I've done here. And if you do that, you have up to eight different programs which can be controlled remotely, starting the programs by pressing the uh, arrows K1, K2, K3, K4, or one of the green buttons um, K5 up to K8. And you can assign these to do what you want. I've used the four arrows to control where the uh, robot is going to move before it releases the ball. So K1 is pressed for a blue ball, K2 for a green, K3 for a yellow, and K4 for a red ball. I've used um, K7 as an initialization program that sets up the zero position of the robot, and it also sets up a data file which is used to pass information between the program so that uh, they can work interactively. Um, K8 um, is used to uh, load the first ball onto the runway and um, then when all of the balls have been sorted we finally use um, K6 to return the um, tracked vehicle to the park position. So that's a description of the process. Let's have a look at it in operation. Um, that is the click box screen here. I've also got a separate browser window open on the right and that's showing the video feed directly from the iPhone camera uh, via my intranet whereas the other picture goes further afield to the Clickbox server and back again and so it does have a slower response. There is the facility to record and I'm going to try and record on the Clickbox site by clicking on this button before we start. So let's click on record. There we go. No. Yes, there we go. And let's now um, click on K7 to initialize. We don't see anything happen, but it's setting up parameters. K8, you will hear a motor start. There it goes. And if we look at the camera, we can see a blue ball is now um, in the gate in both screens. And if we look at the model itself, we can see that that is indeed the case. Uh, you remember I said that K1 is used to uh, deposit the blue ball, so we'll come up here and start that off. And if we move out, we can see the ball being deposited down there, down the chute. And if we look at back at the screen, we can see that they're now showing the next ball, which is in position to be sorted, which is a green one. So let's go to K2, which is green. Without a bit so you can see both screens, we'll just keep on the screen this time. Here we go, click. And after a pause... Hopefully, oh, I did click, let's try it again. Click, there we are, that's it green. There it goes, there's the green ball being deposited. We've now got a yellow ball in position, so we'll go to K3, which is yellow, and we'll click again. Yellow, yellow deposited, like that. You'll notice how the click box screen takes a bit of time to catch up. It's okay on their video, but you do get the delay being fed back to the screen here. Right, a red ball, which is K4, let's this time move out a bit, and as we click on K4, we'll watch the um, vehicle itself. There it goes, it moves along, and the red ball goes into position there. So, now we've got a yellow ball being detected, so that's K3, and we'll click on that. There we go. Oops. 
didn't quite move it. K3, there we are. K3, yellow. And that is deposited. A blue ball next. Again, takes a bit of time to respond, but we've got the second one there. And a blue ball is K1. Here we go. We'll move out this time. Watch it move along to K1. There we go. And we've now got a green ball there, as is indeed shown on the screen, waiting to be sorted. Green is K2. So we'll start that off. Green. Here we go. K2 down into there. And now we've got no balls left. Oh no, we have got, oh, sorry, red ball left. I was looking at the wrong screen, didn't see it actually fall into position. Uh, a red ball, K4, and a bit of time to load up there. Oops, didn't miss that. Let's try it again. K4, there we go, red. And that's in position. Now we really have no balls left in the model, and you can see that although that's taking time to update yet, this is showing the correct state of affairs. After a pause, that will go, hopefully. Yes, there it goes. And so we're going to go finally to the um, button K6, which we're going to click on now. And that moves the sorter back to the park position and we have finished the uh, the run so finally I will stop the recording by clicking on that that says stopped and we can finally stop the videoing that I'm doing here and um, it does take a bit of time for the video to be processed but eventually there is a video page um, up here on the screen so you can see, so you can select, and you can see one or two of the previous ones I've done, but they do take a bit of time to come through. Um, if I scroll down the page, there are hopefully, yes, there's one, one or two uh, videos which have actually been processed, and there's a previous one which I did. Uh, but uh, this latest one that we've just done here, which uh, will take a bit of time to come through before we can actually view it. So that's uh, um, a demonstration of the Cleekbox system in operation. Hope you like it.